professional or personal purposes, we add data for our income and expenses. To get a comparative analysis between these two parameters, different kinds of charts can help us with visual output from our income and expense report in Excel. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Today, we will discuss how to create an income and expense report in Excel. Here is a data set with three products, income and expense, along with their net income records. These values are based on regular record keeping. We will share three examples on this data set using Excel 365. You can use other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. For our first example, we will get comparative analysis of daily income and expense report in Excel. For that, first select the cell range B4 to I18. Now go to insert tab and from the tables group, select pivot table. Now our range is already selected. You can choose your pivot table to be in a new worksheet or existing worksheet. Let's choose existing worksheet and the location will be K4. Okay. Now we can see pivot table fields. From here, let's select day, total income and expense. As you can see, day is in rows and values will include some of total income and some of expense. Let's close this. Now we can see a pivot table with our required data. Now we want to add charts based on our pivot table data. So let's select any cell among our pivot table and go to insert tab and from the charts group select recommended charts. Here we can see that the column section has clustered column as suggestion. Let's go along with it. Let's decrease its size so that it's easy for us to understand. There you go. In this chart, this plus sign will help you to edit, remove or change the chart elements and brush will add styles and colors for you. We can see that the color and styles are getting changed as we hover our cursor around the styles. Let's create a new sheet so that we can add different types of chart for our pivot table. Let's remove grid lines and here, control C and to sheet two, let's use control V. There you are. Now let's select any cell of pivot table again and go to insert tab to try another type of chart, recommended chart. Now let's go along with line section. There is a suggestion of chart. Okay, let's reduce its size first and control X in sheet two, control V. Let's increase this one size. Now let's try another chart. Click on it and go to insert tab from the charts group, recommended chart. Now let's try pie section. There you can see chart is portrait in a Pi format. Okay. Let's decrease the size and control X to paste it in our sheet two. Now, last but not the least, insert chart group recommended charts. Now we will go along with combo section. Here we can see a clustered column and line chart. Let's try this. Control X and there we are now here are four types of chart for the same database our first one represent chart in a column format this one in line this one in pi and this one as combo or clustered line column format in our second example we will discuss a comparative analysis between income and expense based on weeks. Let's select our database from B4 to I18. Now go to insert tab and tables group. 
pivot table. Let's select existing worksheet. You can choose new worksheet as well if you want your pivot table in a new worksheet. So let's select location as K4. Okay. Now from the pivot table fields, let's select date, total income and expense. And we can see that date is in rows field and total income and expense are in values group. Let's close this. Here is our pivot table. Now, if we want analysis based on weeks, let's group them based on weeks. Select any cell of the date column, right click on it and select group. Here, starting and ending are just as they must be. And here, select days and deselect months by just clicking on them. And number of days will be seven. Okay. Now we can see that the pivot table is organized based on two weeks. Now let's select the pivot table and insert a chart for it. Go to insert tab and from the charts group, select recommended charts. Here, let's go along with the column, which is clustered column. Okay. Let's decrease its size so that it's easier for us to understand. There we are. Now let's write another type of chart. Select pivot table, go to insert tab from the charts group, recommended charts. Now let's try line section. Let's go along with it. Let's decrease it. Our second chart is getting difficult to portray in the same page. So let's add another sheet so that we can see different types of chart in one page. Let's remove grid lines and now let's select the line one, control C, paste it in A1, V. And this one, let's try control X, control V. It's easier to understand, right? Let's try some more types of chart. Insert tab, recommended charts, and now let's go to pie section. Okay, there we are. Decrease its size, control X, and go to sheet three, control V. Now let's try a last one. Recommended charts, and here, let's write bar. Okay, let's decrease its size, control X, and paste it here, control V. Here we can see that based on two different weeks, our values are organized. For our third and final example, we will discuss monthly income and expense report. Let's add chart for income and expense values for this case as well. Select B4 to H16. Go to insert tab and from the tables group, select pivot table. So our range is selected and let's say we want our pivot table in the same worksheet. So we will choose existing worksheet. You can choose new worksheet as well. For location, let's say J4. Okay. Now, for pivot table fields, let's select month, total income, and expense. From the fields, you can see that month is in rows field and total income and expense are in values field. Let's close it. Now, let's select any of these cells. Let's go along with this cell, go to insert tab, and from the charts group, we will add different kinds of charts for this database. Let's go along with recommended charts. And from the column section, clustered column. Okay. Now we can see our pivot table values along with our chart. Let's create another sheet where we can add our charts only. Let's disable grid lines here. And here, select the chart, control X to cut. And here, control V to paste. Let's decrease its size. There we are. Now, again, let's try another type of chart. Charts group, recommended charts. Let's go with line. Okay, let's decrease its size first. Use Control X to cut. 
and here control V to paste. We can increase its size here. Let's try pie format and bar format. Insert recommended charts, pie. Okay, it looks so colorful, right? Let's decrease its size first. Control X, go to sheet four, control V. Now for our bar, insert recommended charts, bar, clustered bar, okay. Let's decrease its size first. Control X. Here we go with Control V. Here we can see individual month and their total income versus sum of expenses. The pivot table we previously created can be called a summary of our database. But this way we can visually understand the comparative analysis between total income and sum of expense, which helps us to understand our income and expense report better. From these three examples, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create this report in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.